Hello and welcome to the Kenneth for Camera Law Office Legal Podcast, the NGO Laws Tube, looking at recent cases decided by criminal courts. In this edition, we look at the case of State versus Schmidt, decided by the New Jersey Supreme Court, um, dealing with inability to give breath samples on a DWI. And unfortunately for some drivers, the Supreme Court held failure to be able to give sufficient breath samples may be grounds for refusal, even if they're not refusing but just can't give enough breath. The Supreme Court held because the defendant unequivocally consented to the breath test, his later failures to provide the necessary volume and length of breath did not render his earlier consent ambiguous or conditional. Thus, defendant remained among those who have consented and hence was not entitled to the reading of the additional second statement. Central to this inquiry and the appeal are the dual questions of what and how much must be read to a defendant in a way of a standard statement because a refusal convic- before confusal conviction can be um, found. You know, except for the, because of the penalties for refusal under 39 colon 4 dash 50 point 4a, this, there was a standard statement that was delegated by the legislature to the executive branch and not to the judicial branch. And that means the the police have to read a statement by the Attorney General, which is part of the executive branch. Once the question of what must be disclosed in the standard statement is determined to lay to rest, the next question is how much uh, must be disclosed seems self-evident there. Um, provided the standard statement clearly delineates the penalties for refusal, the statutory mandates are satisfied. At the court's behest in a prior case, the executive branch added the additional statement that was the issue in the appeal, but limited its application solely to those certain delineated instances, including where a defendant's response is ambiguous or conditional. Uh, In the Schmidt case, because defendant unequivocally consented to the breath test, his later failures to provide the necessary volume and length of breath samples did not render his earlier consent ambiguous or conditional. Thus, the court... um, rejected the appellate division's extension that an additional statement should be read. Once consent is given, it cannot be changed or otherwise revoked by a driver's actions. Um, To hold otherwise would result in a conclusion at odds with the purpose of preventing intoxicated drivers. The Supreme Court also held no due process considerations have been raised by the parties to this appeal with respect to the defendant's failure to submit to the test, and hence the court uh, need not address that question. They probably should have, but they didn't. Uh, that said, for the avoidance of future doubt and to provide consistency of administration, the inclusion in the main body of the standard statement of a notice to DWI restee that the failure to provide sufficient breath volume for a sufficient period of time will constitute a refusal to submit to the breath test as both reasonable and salutary. Therefore, the court recommends the Attorney General uh, that the main text of the standard statement be supplemented to address such concerns, and that's State versus Schmidt. For other information, visit website njlaws.com or website benotguilty.com or contact the Law Office of Kenneth for Thank you, and good luck.